Hello everybody! In this short video I would like to show you quick steps how to make this bracelet. This bracelet is called Corselet and this perfect name was suggested by 5 Kids Cause Chaos on Instagram who is really perfect at giving names. I believe this name is very apt, especially for this one, for this rendition, because it really looks like a part of tight lacing. So, I would like to show you how to make this color scheme and I will explain also how this color scheme works in this design. So, I will make a little drawing for you to explain how this design is uh, constructed. We work with 10 loops. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here, we have 10 loops. The entire sequence consists of two lines. In first line, we make a loop over these three loops and then we make another loop over the last three loops and then we braid these four in the middle together with some picking up of course and in the second line we pull a band through the first five and then through the second five and this is the entire sequence we always alternate first and the second line and we can do several um, color schemes. In this bracelet I used white for the first line and this blue, it's a kind of blue, for the second line. So it is always these three whites and two blues repeating the sequence. In this color scheme it was slightly different. I used black for this and for this and these three loops were orange. So it was different. It was black, orange, black and here it was orange and orange. And because I really think that the second one is much prettier, I'm going to show you how to uh, make this one. So in this tutorial I will be using, as I said, blacks and because I don't have any more orange bands left, I will be using yellow. So just to make it clearer, I will be using yellow for this loop and for this loop as well as for this loop. These short ones will be black, 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 yellow, yellow, yellow. So let's get started. I'll take my hook, take the first two black bands, put it on my hook, like a cut band, and pull one black through. This beginning is uh, very common beginning for most of the bracelets and I suggest to do it this way. So first step is I remove the first band, I pick up the one half of the cup band, I place this band back, then I take another black, I pull it through the first and the cup band and I reattach the first and close it off. And then I push it on the other side of my hook and I'll do the same. First remove the first, pick up the cup end, close it off, then take one more black, pull it through the first one as well as through the cup end, reattach the first end and close it off. This is the easiest and the prettiest way how you get five loops on your hook. So for this pattern, as I said, 
before we need 10 loops. So we need to add in, uh, a couple of special steps, some loops in here so that we end up with 10. Then the pattern or the sequence will start. So first loop we need to do is to add one band on each side. I will do this, I'll add one, I'll put it on the other side and I add one. This is the very simple step, this adding on the end of the braid. We just pull it through the two, skip the first one, reattach this last one and close it off. So now I ended up with eight and I've already, uh, I can already see how the bands are dividing naturally. Four in the middle that will be woven here and the two on the sides, they are two by now but in the next step we will add one more so that is three and three and four in the middle for the first line where we need three and three and four in the middle. So the next step is I need to pull the white through the middle four. You see these are the middle four and I need to pick up the two bands in the center. So I just turn my hook around pick up those two and then I reattach the first two bands that I just pulled the band through. I need to rearrange it so that the yellow really is pulled only through the middle four bands like so. See? And now We need to take two more yellows and do the like like if second line, even though the sequence is not entirely like this. The difference is we are going to pull it through the four and four instead of five and five because we don't have the ten in total yet. So I take my yellow, I pull it through the first four and I start picking up. I will pick up the yellow and I will pick up the last one, then I close it off, like so. I push it on the other side, I take another yellow, put it through the first four from this side, and then I skip the black, I pick up the yellow, I skip another black, and pick up the black, and close it off. So now, to have three and three on both sides, I need to add one more black. So I pull it just through the first two, pick up the yellow and reattach. And now I do the same on the other side. This black is supposed to be here, like so. So I take another black, pull it through the first two and pick up the yellow and close it off. So here it is, now we have 10 loops and we already have done these two blacks and now we need to do this yellow in the middle. So I take the yellow I put it through the first seven bands. Now I am going to pick up the two yellows in the middle. So I skip the first one, but I pick up the second and the third. And then I just reclaim these first three and I rearrange them pull them to the beginning of the hook because that is the place where they are supposed to be normally. So here it is. We have three and three loops 
And here these bands need a little bit of pulling so that they are the same, they look the same. So we have the first line, now we are going to do the second line which is yellow band through first five. I already have the five as I should have. Now you can finally see how the picking up should look like too. So I'm going to skip the first one and I'm going to pick up the second one, the third one, then I skip the fourth and pick up the fifth and close it off. Like so. I push it to the other side. This is what we are supposed to have. Three bands and three bands and the middle. So you can see the pattern already showing. And now you just continue repeating line one and two until you reach the desired length of your bracelet. And then to make it look similar like the beginning, so that when you put the two ends together they look the same, you just make the last two lines of black only, without yellow, so that the end is black only, and then you just close it off by pulling a black band through all bands or loops, and you can put a C-clip on or a bead, it's up to you. So, here it is couple of quick steps how to make this interesting pattern called corselet bracelet. Hope you like it. I will be very happy if my short tutorial helps you to make this bracelet easy and I will be very very happy if you take me to your renditions to see uh, that my work was useful. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.